Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports. We're here at the Lee Summit Shootout, and we've got some of the past players of the past that were stars here in Kansas City. Who do we have here? Quentin Day. Hey, Quentin, tell the audience a little bit about yourself and who you played for. Uh, you know, we got we, we got new blood now. Well, I'm kind of old yeah, now, but so. Tell, tell them what schools you played uh, for. Paseo High School. What year? Uh, 2000, uh, 2003 graduate. Uh, Dorena Award, 2002, 2003. I uh, went on to USC for a year. After that, I went to, uh, I finished my career at UMKC. All right. How you 2007. Like How you like the game tonight? Uh, it's a good game. Uh, right now, uh, Ruskin is really getting after it on the defensive end. Uh, Raytown needs to uh, settle down a little bit. It looks um, like uh, Ruskin's out hustling them for the most part. Yeah, 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 for the, for the most part. They got a lot of energy. Um, I think Raytown needs to match their energy. Uh, once they do that, you know, besides settling down a little bit, I think that uh, it'll be a pretty uh, close game at the end. All right. How do you see the ballers of today versus your ear, era? Um, it's kind of hard for me to say, but I was just sitting there watching on the bench because, of course, I'm older now, so the game slowed down to me a lot more. So I was just thinking that, you know, maybe – they're just moving a little bit too fast right now. You know, a little bit uh, out of control a little bit. They need to just slow down and let the game, game come to them. I'm talking about the athletes, the athletes of, of your period versus the athletes of right now. I've I got mean, the coach here. He, he, he'll he talk I'm about sure that he a little can, bit. I'm sure he can touch on that a little bit better than me. But um, I think I think it's a win. It's a, I mean, it's, it's, it goes both ways because I think a lot of the athletes now are very, very athletic. Um, you got a lot of athletic guys. I mean, we had athletic guys too as well, but – I mean, these guys are sixth, seventh grade dunking the basketball. I mean, we had a hand few that could do that back then, but now it's like everybody has hops, everybody can dunk. So that's one of the things that I think I noticed the most. All right, who we have here? Brandon Burgett. Hey, hey, Burgett, uh, I didn't know you was the head coach over there at uh, KCK. Yeah, I'm the head coach, All first, right. first year. First year? Yeah. All right, uh, I'll put to you, the same uh, question that I put today. Okay. How do you see the kids of your era versus how they are coming out right now? Uh, and their, their skill set, their mindset, their ability to be students of the game. I think right now, uh, you know, kids today are more athletic, but their basketball IQ is not the same as the game uh, when you talk about when we played. I think, you know, growing up, we used to do camps, so we were, like, fundamentally sound. There were little things that we did that, that guys don't do in today's era. Uh, I think we had more pace, and, and, you know, we knew what we were doing as far as being basic. You know, and now it's, it's more skill set. It's more athleticism. So guys are doing more things than we did. But I think the competitive edge right now is different from, you know, now and then just because we, comp we competed. And we wanted it more than some of these guys. Now a lot of us is giving because they're their God give talent and athleticism, which you know push them right. to where they are now. Ne next question: What I would uh, say to you, uh, how do you feel AAU in the summertime versus the European model of we're not going to be traveling, we're going to be working on our skill set in the gym? Uh, that's been a big discussion because. A lot of people use AAA to play basketball. See, when we were growing up, we played 24-7. So <laughs> we were always at the park, always at a community center. And now, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, they play too many games. But we played a lot of games, you know, in the, in the streets, mm -hmm. you know, at, at parks. Mm -hmm. so, well, that's my era, too. Coming right. from New York, yeah. it was no really gyms. You, yeah. wasn't, no. you, was, you was out in you, the park. Yeah. Uh, and so, getting down day dirty. Day right. And they so, and you, and you had the the butchers on your team. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, you play tough. It's it's a 50-50 because, you know, now they don't play that much. And they obviously they work out a lot and do a lot of skill stuff. But the only time they get to get to play is on the weekends. And so they use that time in five on five, but they don't work on anything during the week. How, how do you feel towards. about uh, uh, one of the things that I've noticed, a lot of these kids have these personal trainers now. Right. And, and, and you've got more guys out here trying to, uh, be personal trainers. How do you feel about that? I think it's good because you know you, you get to uh, tweak your game and, and improve on different things you can improve on. But I think the personal trainer thing really came hit big because kids aren't able to get in the gym without someone 
to be and able to do what? it. you know what? This is my 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 uh, thing on these gyms. I used to do a lot of different camps and things. They put the gyms almost out of the price range. Right. And you have to have security right. and all this insurance and right. what have you. And so you really can't train as much as as, as y'all because they don't want to play outside. No, no. And I, and, and and like like we said back then, we may have been a little bit spoiled, but we were we were spoiled enough to to want to go after and get it. You know, and now it's different. I'm gonna, you I'm know? gonna touch on that personal oh. trainer thing. I'm gonna touch on that because I have I have experience in that. And the one thing that I want to say about personal trainers and uh, in that in that field is. I think it's good because all the players are doing it now. So it, it, it's almost mandatory because back when we were coming up, we didn't have that. All we did was go to the gym and worked out and played all the time by ourselves. Five on five or at the right. gym all day, dribbling the ball all Fourth, day. All of that. All that stuff. Like we didn't have that, but they have that now. Even the better athletes, the, the most gifted athletes right. use training. NBA players, they do it. So I think that it is necessary. But as far as personal trainers are concerned, I feel like if you're not trying to teach a kid how you play and teaching a kid how to play the game of basketball, then I have no problem with it. But with the problem I have is when people try to teach kids how to play just like they play and everybody can't play the same, the same Don't way. Have the same that's the only set. thing that I say about that. So that's my take on it. All right. It was a pleasure having both of you all on the show, and we wish you the best of luck. This program is brought to you by the City of Fountains Coaches Association.